Hey, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Bukhar Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS that teach us this word. And Shalom, and to the whole full elect upon the four corners of this earth, let's try and make it up out of here in truth and in sincerity. So, this lesson I want to bring out, um, I'm going to title it, you know, uh, you can bring a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. You know, because uh, I I was just thinking, and um, I was just thinking on 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 the topic that, you know, so sometimes people just can't get this truth. You know, it 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 doesn't matter how you how you hand it to them. Sometimes people just can't get this truth. Some people aren't meant to get this truth. I'll put it like that. You know, the Most High didn't make it where everybody was was uh, meant was uh, meant to get this truth because off rip. We already know Esau and heathen, Esau and 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 the other heathen nations aren't meant to get this truth. You know, the nation of Israel is the Most High's only begotten children. We we are we are the 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 nation that got these laws. You know, the 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 nation that has a chance of of repentance. You know, but even not not even all of us are going to be able to grasp this truth you know cuz you have the one third and the 144,000 and then you have the two third you know so we can preach the word to the two third but it they're just not meant to get it so they're not going to drink you know so here let me get a uh, first corinthians chapter 2 verse 14 it says but the natural man receiving not the things of the spirit of the most high for they are foolishness unto him, you know, and we are we are those spiritual men. We we're we're not we're not nat natural men, you know, or well natural people because you know you have the women and children that that follow and uh and and keep up with the with the truth as well and and, and follow after the men of the Lord. But we are not we are spiritual people, you know. But but the natural people they see this this truth as as a foolishness. But we see this as everything. We see this as our ticket out. We see this as life. You know? But the natural man sees this as foolishness. That shows how how that shows the, the huge difference between us and them. You know, it says, um, neither can he know them because they are spiritually the discerned. You know, let's get a that the definition for that word discerned. Here's a pronunciation. Strong's G three fifty, anacrino, anacrino. It says examine or judge to investigate, examine, inquire into, scrutinize, sift, question. Specifically, in a forensic sense, of a judge to hold an investigation, to interrogate, examine the accused or witnesses, to judge of, estimate, determine the excellence or defects of any person or thing. So it's basically to go into it, you know. But that only goes by the spirit. Not everyone has that spirit to go into this truth, to grasp this, this truth, to study this truth. You know, not everybody are not everyone is, is meant to follow the most high in these times. You know, as a matter of fact, here, let me get a John chapter 10, verse 26. It says, uh, and this is um. Here, I'll get, uh, this is John chapter 10, verse 26. It says, but ye believe not because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me, you know, and, and the sheep are the people who, who, who are going to listen. The people, the, the sheep are the people who are led to that water and they drink and they gain that knowledge and then they take it uh, themselves and, and, and they grow and they grow. You know, and what happens uh, to those sheep? Let's, let's read verse 28. It says, And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. You know? So so that not everyone is going to be of those sheep. Yahweh Shai was preaching this this uh this uh same word and people weren't following him, you know, and it's it's the same thing today, you know, in, in the uh in, in the reincarnation, the same people who were persecuting uh um Yahweh Shai, the same people who were scoffing against um, y Yahweh Shai and, and, and the uh, disciples, it's the same thing today. You know, those same people are alive today, you know, in, in their, in their reincarnation, you know, we, we are those shepherds, but not 
everybody that we preach this word unto are going to be our are, are going to be sheep and are going to follow because they just don't have the spirit to do so. They just don't have that spiritual inclination to do so. They can't incline their ear. You know? I, I can't think of the scripture at the moment. Uh, here, I'll try to look for it. Uh, you no, know, it has incline, incline uh, thine ear. I believe wisdom is in it as well. So, uh, yeah, here it is right here. Proverbs chapter 2, verse 2. Uh, it says, so that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom and apply thine heart to understanding. Yea, if thou criest after knowledge, and lift up thy voice for understanding, if thou seekest her as silver, and searchest for her as for hid treasures, then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord Yahweh, and find the knowledge of the Most High. You know, it says, uh, for the Lord Yahweh giveth wisdom, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. But you, what does it say that you have to do? It says that you have to incline your ear. What does incline your ear mean? That means you have to listen. You have to actually want to listen. But some people just won't listen. And 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 that's that's how it is. You know, the most high just didn't give them that spirit. They 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 don't have that spirit on them to listen. They don't have that spirit on them to incline their 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 ear unto understanding. Un un unto unto wisdom. You know, before the sheep who are going to follow, they're going to seek out that wisdom. They're going to seek out that understanding. We're, they're going to incline their ears. And then they're going to understand the fear of the Most High. And they're going to continue to follow. You know? So here I want to get this uh, last scripture. You know, because we have that, we, we are those spiritual people. And again, we are different from those natural people. Because what do those natural people look for? You know, what, here, let's get a... Second Corinthians chapter four, verse 18. It says, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. You know, and for and for us who, who are who are spiritual, for us who have that spirit on us, who that, that the most high granted us to have that spirit. We 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 can we see. We are looking forward to things that are not seen. The kingdom, salvation, you know, peace, you know, that, that eternal happiness for, for our nation. That's what we're looking for. But that's not seen right now. So for the natural people, they're like, oh, they, that we, we don't see that. They, they, want, they want a check every week because, because they can see that. They get their check every week and they're fine. They see money in their hands, so they're cool with being in this kingdom. <laughs> you know, because they're natural. They're not, they, here, as a matter of fact, let's uh go back to 1 Corinthians. Uh, for, actually, no, that's not a, uh, let me see here. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. It's so, like, I have them, I have these scriptures pulled up on my laptop. I had to, you know, I had to, uh, got a little mixed up. But here, let me go, go to that definition of that word, Natural. Here's a pronunciation. Strong's G fifty five ninety one, psuchikas, psuchikas. It says of or belonging to breath, having the nature and characteristics of the breath, the principle of animal life which men have in common with the brutes, governed by breath, the sensuous nature with the sub subjection to appetite and passion. You know, uh, here, if you go down in, in the Strong's definition, it says sensitive, i.e. animate and distinction on, on the hand from G4152, which is the higher or renovated nature, and on the other from G5446, which is the lower or bestial nature, natural, sensual. So this definition sounds very similar to one of the definitions of, of the flesh. They're fleshly. You know they 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 they're sensual they're brutish, you know they 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 have that lower bestial nature because they don't have that spiritual inclination on them. The Most High didn't give them that spirit, so they're caught up in their flesh. They're natural, you know. So if we go back to Second Corinthians four. Let me scroll down to uh, verse eighteen. It says we we can look upon those things with, which are not seen. Why? Because we have that spiritual inclination. We have that spiritual inclination to be able to listen, to be able to to grasp these words, to be able to grasp the truth. This 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 instruction that the Most High has given us. You know, 
But again, not everyone has that spirit. Not everyone was granted that spirit. You know, so they look upon things which are seen and they're temporal. What does temporal mean? They, 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 they're not going to last forever. You know, the, it, it's all, it's all going to be destroyed. This kingdom is going to be destroyed. But people are cool with being in this kingdom. Two thirds of our people are okay with being in this kingdom. And it's pathetic. You know, it's, 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 <laughs> it's, it's, uh, they, they don't have that kingdom mindset. You know? So, hey, with that being said, once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ochar Kodash. And with that being said, hey, Shalom.